Hello, I'm Carol Phillips. The Unitarian Universalists have used the flaming chalice as a symbol of our association of churches since before World War II. It was a simple chalice drawn with a couple of circles on documents to move from country to country. Today, we're gonna to talk about how you can set up a flaming chalice in your home and hopefully we can get the whole family involved. Now, you may think that getting all the kids involved in preparing for a church service may be a little bit like herding dinosaurs or magical beasts, but I promise we'll come up with something fun. These are some of the things I have around the house. This is a drink container from a popular restaurant that's shaped like a mermaid, and I really love mermaids. I was going to try a medicine cup to hold a votive candle, but you know, I think it may work better to use this tea light in a holder right there. And I think we're going to try that for the night shot. I like to collect white glass, and this is a beautiful chalice shape with grape designs and flowers on the outside. A votive or a tea light would look great. Here I have a <clears throat> banana boat shaped planter that might make a really wonderful chalice candle holder. Some other things you might have around the house are spiritual icons that you could put a candle in front of, a mortar and pestle would make a great chalice. And here we have a pillar of rocks, a cairn with a candle on top of it. I have a couple of teacups stacked on each other. Oh, and the chalice and the candle was a little low. And so I put a medicine cup down to hold the candle a little bit higher. Here, I have a chalice made out of medicine cups. You know, the kinds that come on top that you measure your medicine in. I've covered it in duct tape and made some duct tape ruffle on the edges. And, you, and here I have a little bit of a broken candle held inside with candle wax. Here is an example of something you might make with Legos. A little broken candle held down inside with wax is a great chalice. When you cut an apple in half, you have a pentacle inside, a five-pointed star, the sign of the goddess. And it makes a great candle holder. I have a bit of a candle stuck down inside the five-pointed star, and you can stack them together like this. Here, if you take an orange, they can hold a little bit of oil or alcohol to light a candle. Now this, in this we're trying to use the pith of the orange as the candle holder. Here, we're just going to use a cotton string soaked in alcohol to make a flame. Here we've made a couple of chalices out of air dry clay. This one I molded around a tea light and used a stick to hold it strong as it was drying. And this one was made out of the Mexican air dry clay with some little decorations on it. Please comment with your pictures or videos of your chalices that you've made at home.